Hey, Psych2Goers. Today, we'll be diving into the topic of being bi-curious. Is it the same as bisexual? Has someone close to you just come out about their sexual orientation? Are you also wondering the same? Bi-curious is yet another lesser known term on the sexuality spectrum. To identify as bi-curious is to be actively experimenting or even having just begun to evaluate your sexual preference. Being bisexual, you have it ascertained that you prefer both genders. But wait, if that preference is inconsistent or fleeting, then that could be a nudge towards bi-curious. Number one, testing the waters. For some people, your own sexual orientation can be an area unexplored. You tend to be curious about your sexual preference. For example, you can be interested in developing relationships by searching for partners that may be unusual to you. In short, you're exploring your own self by being open to experimenting. This helps you determine whether you are bisexual or identify with another form of sexual attraction altogether. Number two, being uncertain. Is your sexual preference a regular occurrence or is it only an occasional fleeting thought? The main difference between bisexual and bi-curious is that bisexuals have already determined their identity and goal, whereas bi-curious individuals may not have had enough experience yet in order to come to a conclusion. You might only have just begun to explore your preferences. Figuring out one's sexual orientation can also be influenced by other factors, such as considering someone else's personality versus their sexuality. Number three, taking time. It's always okay to think through things slowly. Not everyone can define their sexual orientation right away. It might look like you're the only one still unsure. You might feel pressured to reach a conclusion as everyone around you already has. However, you will find it's a process that needs no rushing. According to a study in 2021, some people started out by focusing on a certain type that they were attracted to. Then they connected with them as an exploration. Still, Others may look for common interests or profiles to figure out. Number four, seeking advice. Being bi-curious can result in two different kinds of feelings, either feeling proud or shameful. Constantly oscillating between preferences can make you feel confused. Your surroundings can also play a part in exerting pressure on you, especially when you seem to be the only one going through this. However, there is nothing to be ashamed of. For many men and women, seeking help through therapy sessions can be a possible way to regain comfort or confidence in their lives. And number five, being yourself. It's also possible that a person may not be bisexual after being bi-curious. A study finding suggests that because of having various ways to explore with other people, some may even end up identifying themselves as pansexual. No matter what conclusion you come up with, just be yourself. Were you aware of this term before? If so, do you resonate with the points and examples mentioned? What's the biggest struggle you go through? Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, experiences, or suggestions. If you find this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there using or being subjected to these phrases. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.